We don't track that data. How often was a probable cause found and not found during these hearings? Answer, we don't track this data. Question nine, I want to see the judges assigned for the weekend since January 1 of 2015. Answer, information used to make assignments is exempt from California rules of court. I don't care if it's exempt from the rules of court under 10.500. I want to see the list. Certainly you keep a list, Mr. Parker. Number 10, what policy is in place about these types of hearings? Answer, the California Penal Code governs probable cause determinations. Signed respectfully, Daryl E. Parker. I thank you, Mr. Parker, for answering the letter, even if it took December, January, almost six weeks to answer this letter. But I thank you. I think you should start tracking who the probable cause judges are because that way we could check to see if they were on vacation when they were supposed to be looking at these documents. I have a hunch nobody looks at them and the first time we see or hear or know anything about it is when the defendant shows up for his arraignment and it's presumed probable cause was found. The Constitution was written to protect we the people from an abuse of government. It wasn't written to give the government all the power and control. And when the best, the court system of Santa Barbara, or for that matter, any county, can say is, we don't track this data? Really? You have a case file on every case that started. Starts with an arrest. You have a probable cause. Then you have an arraignment. You got the arraignment date and the minutes of the arraignment hearing. You know, you got all that. You should have a probable cause hearing where the detainee or the arrestee gets to appear even with or without an attorney and say something to contradict what the police officers say because as we all know sometimes the police officers have a very skewered view of the facts seen only from the police officers point of view and this is dangerous for America this is really dangerous you have a right if you're stopped, even for a traffic ticket, and you refuse to sign the traffic ticket, or you sign it, signed under duress, you have a right if you don't sign it. And he says, I'm going to take you and put you in jail if you don't sign the traffic ticket. You have a right to say, take me to the magistrate. I want my probable cause hearing now, please, Mr. Officer. They don't do that. Never heard of them doing that. Okay, with that said... There is a case that has everything to do with probable cause, and I put in a media request. It's a case of the people of California versus Brandon Morris, a college student down in Isla Vista. Now, I didn't go to the Halloween party and don't particularly want to. Uh, my college days are way, way behind me, and even then I didn't side with the rabble-rousers. If anything, I was more for law enforcement. But that said... I think Brandon Morris may have been wrongfully dealt with because he was just taping the cops at their detention center out on the street. And some kind of a incident then came, and they haven't given him his tape back yet. How many months does it take the police officers to simply make a copy 